Limitations in low back extension are very common. Most of the time we are bending our backs forward. Think sitting down, think tying your shoes. Most of the motion we do with our spine comes forward. So we often lose the ability to go backwards with our spine. This is a really important movement for the back. So your test, your challenge right here is to come down all the way on your stomach. You're gonna get your hands so they're directly under the shoulders. Keep the legs relaxed and press yourself all the way up, seeing if you can fully extend your lower back. If you're unable to do this, we're gonna go over some movements that should really help with that. So the first exercise we're gonna do is really the same thing as the test. We're just gonna regress that a little bit so that you can accomplish it. So I'm gonna come again to my stomach here, but instead of getting my arms under my shoulders, I'm gonna start off with my hands above my shoulders, maybe head height even, and my hands are gonna be a little bit wider. This is gonna give me a little bit less range of motion as I come up. So I'm gonna press with my palms, keeping my legs relaxed, and you can see I still get extension through my spine, just not as much. If that feels easy, take it back a little bit more with the hands. And find that spot where it's a good challenge, but you're able to do it successfully. That's where you want to get most of your reps here. So again, I'm keeping my legs relaxed. I'm just pressing with the arms. I'm trying to extend my spine. I'm trying to bend it backwards. This shouldn't hurt at all. This should just feel like a bit of a stretch. We're going to go for 15 repetitions on each one. If you can get a little bit farther back, do so. If you're not getting any farther, stick with the range that you have. Get some repetition through there. So this is exercise number one. It's our press up. So eventually you're going to hit a spot where it just feels like you can't get any farther back, even with more repetitions. That's where a band can come in handy because we can start mobilizing those joints to allow for a little bit more motion at that end range. So you're going to take the band, you're going to double it up, and you're going to get it around that spot in your low back that tends to be a little bit more restricted. If you want to just mostly get it on the curve of the low back, that'll probably be fine. It's going to give enough of a push that'll mobilize most of those joints of the back. So get the band so it's equal. You're going to feed your thumbs through it. You're going to come onto your stomach again. Now this time, as I press up, you can see the band gives me a bit of a pull at the bottom there. So I'm gonna let it pull me in, and then I'm gonna to return to the ground. So I push up on my own, and then I relax into that. The band pulls me a bit farther, and then I'm gonna come down. Same thing, I can keep walking my hands back, or I can keep my hands where they are if I feel like I'm getting a good stretch if I'm in a good spot. You can also change the placement of the band here, a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on where you feel that stiffness. So again, you're pressing up, relaxing at the top, let the band pull you into a little bit more of that extension. So this is exercise number two. This should really help you get just a little bit more when you start getting So in our third exercise, we're gonna get the muscles of the front side of the body to control some of that extension. It's really going to help again with that end range, but also that control through the entire range. So you're going to start off in a high plank position, push up position. Your back should be flat here. And then you're going to slowly relax the abs and your hips will start dropping. And you can see you're ending in that position we ended with, with the press up. If you can't get all the way down, that's fine. You're gonna use your abs to come back up. Slowly let the abs lengthen, let the chest lift and the hips come down. So you're getting an eccentric ab contraction here. It's that lowering phase of the movement. So we're controlling that spine extension. All of our joints, we want them to move well, but we wanna have good control of them as well. So that's where this one comes in. So take that slow three to five seconds on that way down. And you're gonna go for five reps here. Then I want you to come back after you've done all three of those movements and recheck that spine extension. Hands under the shoulders, pressing all the way up. 